Welcome back. Um, now, let's go to our Buja studio to talk to the um, Director of Monetary Policy Department in CBN, Mr. Tuli. Uh, you heard in that report some of the reasons why the Monetary Policy Committee left the rates unchanged. Can you talk us through some of you know, these reasons? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the reasons were very well stated in the communique of the Monetary Policy Committee. Uh, first of all, we had examined the growth in money supply. We saw that M2 grew by 8 percentage point over and above the prudential um, requirement for fiscal 2016. We also saw a growth in credit, net credit to the economy. Money, which in this case is the uh, growth that came in, both from within the operations of the central bank. Again, we saw that it was quite high. percent that really wasn't any impetus for every change we also saw the heightened demand for foreign exchange so a rate cut was going to further increase pressure on the foreign exchange market uh, a rate cut was going to worsen the inflationary situation uh, because it was going to increase the liquidity in the system and so put together uh, and considering all the other parameters uh, that were not necessarily mentioned in the communique the MPC put the rate at the level it was as at the last uh, November MPC okay now some people are looking towards um, can we have a reduction in the lending rate you know, people want to borrow money and the rates at which they borrow is still high and you still want people also to invest more and be their own um, entrepreneurs who want to manufacture things or go into production in Nigeria. How do you um, address that? Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Perhaps we need to try and explain the situation here. Uh, first of all, this economy uh, since 1991, or since 1986 rather, we have market determined interest rates. The implication of that is that the market determines what the rate of interest rate would be, as opposed to when we were um, allocating credit to the preferred sectors of the economy. Now, the implication of that is that the central bank cannot administer the action rate at a particular level, at the same time address inflation, and at the same time determine what the interest rate would be. Central banks do not do this simultaneously. Uh, for interest rate to come down in an economy, the infrastructure on which economic agents are carrying out in infrastructure in the economy. In the presence of those gaps, it will be really difficult for down, uh, down south. Uh, however, uh, coming from the global financial crisis and with the benefit of unconventional monetary policy. We have seen the central bank make very significant interventions in the market uh, by trying to give credit at interest rate that were far below the market interest rate, which is at 9%. Why the government is, uh, is borrowing, and that is a risk-free rate. If the government which is a risk-free borrower, is borrowing at 18%, which is supposed to be 
the risk free rate in the economy, it will be extremely difficult for interest rate to go below that. And even at 18% that the government is borrowing, there is still a negative re interest rate there of 0.55%. Now, currently the NPR is at 14%. At 14%, there is a negative re interest rate of, of 4.55%, uh, which means inflation rate has to sufficiently come down first for interest rate for the NPR to be reduced. A further reduction in, inter in uh, interest rate now, let's, let, let's say the NPR, a further reduction in the NPR now would rather worsen the situation by widening the negative real interest rate gap. And, and that, that's very important, which shows that the whole me to let to ask that we please take it down a bit so that the the average man who's watching us there will understand because as far as he's concerned you're talking about monetary policy rates lending rates and all that's the least of his concern all he's concerned about is the ability to go to the market and buy what he needs to take care of his family the ability to have his that salary or wage that he earned take care of his family and take care of his basic needs that's what he's interested in so is it possible that the CBN's been, I mean, or the Monetary Policy Committee has been carrying on with its decision isolated from the needs of the average man out there? Is it possible? Thank you so much. I think that that's very important. We, we need to further explain that. Um, The interest of the average Nigerian occupies the key or the prime focus of every decision of the MPC. Now, if we look at countries with high inflation like Venezuela or like uh, Zimbabwe, uh, you will discover that the workers really don't have a take home because inflation has overtaken whatever earnings that they have from within the economy. The, the wages have to be multiplied several times over, several hundreds of times over, just to meet up with the level of inflation. Now, that is what the MPC is very much concerned about. At the current level of inflation, does the average wage take the Nigerian home? If the answer is no, then the Monetary Policy Committee must be concerned with the level of inflation. A further reduction in interest rate would mean, if we say we want to reduce interest rate so that there will be more credit to manufacturing, so that there will be higher production of goods, it would simply mean worsening the inflationary situation because if we reduce interest rate, ordinarily, if the transmission work mechanism of monetary policy were working effectively, then it would mean that the banks would lend out more credit. But unfortunately, if we have a reduction in interest rate now, much of what would be go chasing foreign exchange, that would further depreciate the action rate now. But more fundamentally, if we reduce interest rate now, and there's an increase in money supply, it means it would worsen the inflationary situation. A worsening of the inflationary situation means a further reduction in the earnings power of that little wage that you already have in your pocket. So in the overall interest of the worker, you have to look at inflation and how biting it is on wages, the implication of that on overall wages. So when the MPC sits and considers all these parameters together and is taking a decision. It's not just concerned about the impact of each decision and what the action rate is going to be. It is concerned that we must preserve the earnings power 
of the wages earned by our citizens. And, and uh, that, that's a key consideration when we take these decisions. Okay. okay. We'll come back to you, Mr. Tule. Uh, 